Hello, welcome everyone. You have arrived at the task force's annual meeting. My name is Sarah Brace, executive coordinator of the BC States Oil Spill Task Force. I'm excited to have you guys all on our line today. Um, yeah, we are, so I'm just making an adjustment to my screen. There we go. Um, yeah, the goal of our meeting is to provide a platform for information sharing of emerging issues and topics of interest with our task force partners and the public. And this year we are hosting it virtually again, as you can tell. Um, in the past, we've really enjoyed rotating our annual meetings around the jurisdictions and getting to know some of you folks in the regions personally and have always looked forward to seeing one another in person. So we're hoping that'll return in the near future. And uh, this is our second round at doing this fully virtually. So um, fingers crossed all will go well. Um, so today, just a quick overview of the agenda. Um, our tech team is gonna paste it in the, the chat, the link to the agenda, if you don't have it handy. Um, today, we're gonna hear from our jurisdictional members, our executive members from the task force will share out information and stories of their, their neck of the woods and what's going on in their programs. And then from there, we will go to an update on the task force work plan, the current work we have this year, and that will be given by myself and my colleague, Hillary Wilkinson. And then we'll have a lunch break and you guys can step away and um, take your eyes off the computer for a good hour. And then we'll reju rejoin for an afternoon of two sessions. One will focus on case studies of recent incidents on the West Coast, and that will be followed by a session on climate change. And we'll have a panel of folks from the task force speaking to what's going on in their programs, as well as ask you to weigh in and share what work you're doing to address this, uh, this crisis we're facing. Um, and then we'll wrap up with a legacy award pres presentations. This year, we have nine legacy award winners and I will be presenting them and their stories uh, to wrap up our, our show today. So uh, with that, um, I just want to give a few moments of tech check here. Um, many of you, most of you are probably familiar with Zoom by now. Um, you should see a control panel somewhere at the bottom of the top of your screen. Um, the one I want you to focus on is the Q&A bubbles. That's where you'll pop in any questions you have today about any of the sessions you're hearing, any technical questions you wanna know about a report you heard, anything that you hear during the sessions, please place your questions in there. And that those are the ones we'll respond to during our Q&A sessions. You also will see a chat bubble and that's for more technical, um, as in IT support you may have, if you're having trouble with your volume or can't figure out your Zoom, um, program, just go into the chat and send a note to Caleb, who is represented as the conference services in the chat. Um, so hang in there, folks. Technical meetings are always um, full of fun surprises and hiccups, so I'm sure we'll have a few, but we'll be strong, we'll be supportive, <laughs> we'll be patient, and uh, hang in there, and we'll go for this ride. Um, I also want to tell you, we do have some breaks scheduled during today's annual meeting, but of course, take, um, take bio breaks, take water breaks as you need them. I'll, I'll add a few really quick stand up one minute breaks here and there throughout the day, but we'll also have some um, good chunks of time to, to get away from the screen as we go through the day. Um, so with that, um, I would invite you as well, if you want to, feel free to pop your name, your organization, and where you're joining us from in the chat. That's kind of fun for us to see where everyone's dialing in from. Be, given this is a webinar format, not a, a, a meeting, so to speak, we, um, we have everyone's video and um, mic on mute. That's because we're expecting quite a, a few numbers of folks on and it just gets a little unruly. So um, apologies, we can't see everybody. Um, you'll be able to see the speakers and you'll be able to um, add hellos and greetings and whatever you like in the chat. But do, do try to keep your questions around the sessions in the Q&A uh, bubble. 